first at four, we're learning just how much the head of Ripta is getting as he heads out the door. Scott Avedisian has been embroiled in a hit and run scandal and resigned last week amid mounting pressure. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins us now live in studio with the latest. Tim. The Ripta board agreed to give Scott Avedisian nearly $68,000 in severance. The 59-year-old had one year left on his contract when police say he caused a chain reaction crash in a McDonald's drive through late last month. Mr. Avedisian, any comment? Outgoing Ripta CEO Scott Avedisian has struck a deal with the agency he has led since 2018. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. The RIPTA board voting Tuesday to agree to a five-figure severance package. According to the separation agreement, Avedisian will receive $45,000 for three months of pay and $22,000 for unused vacation time. The agreement says he will receive nearly $68,000 in 13 weekly payments moving forward. How do you feel? You're the chairman of the board. Are you comfortable with the exit package? I am, yes. I, th I think it's fair. I think given what Scott Avedisian has done in positive way for this agency as he served uh, during the last several years, I think um, both from the standpoint of fairness and from the standpoint of his contractual agreement with the state, I think it's a fair package. As Target 12 first reported, police say Avedisian was behind the wheel of this Ripta Ford Explorer when he sparked a chain reaction crash in a McDonald's drive through on March 27th. Witnesses say Avedisian took off. During Tuesday's meeting, a public transit advocate urged the board to hire someone with experience. Avedisian served for nearly two decades as Warwick mayor before then-Governor Gina Raimondo appointed him head of Ripta. RIPTA has suffered from political interference. The next CEO should be free from political interference and allow the independents to work effectively. Now today, the board also voted to tap RIPTA's chief financial officer, Christopher Durand, as interim CEO. Avedisian pleaded not guilty to one misdemeanor count of leaving the scene of an accident. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.